One of the most beautiful, beloved Christmas traditions for many people and families is a nativity scene, also named the creche. When thinking about the nativity scene, one might think about a group of miniature figures that are put out during the Christmas season. Historically, our miniature creches are directly linked to St. Francis of Assisi. While in the Holy Lands in 1221, St. Francis was able to visit in Bethlehem, the Church of the Nativity. This ancient church was built over the cave, used as a stable, which became the birthplace of Jesus. Like many pilgrims before and after him, St. Francis was emotionally moved by love, joy, and hope while visiting Jesus' birthplace. A few years later, St. Francis and a group of friars were spending the Christmas season in a small Italian village named Grazio in the hills north of Rome. St. Francis was asked to share the experience of the nativity with the villagers of Grazio. Using a mountainside cave bar, much like the one in Bethlehem, St. Francis and the friars set up this first nativity scene using a live ox and donkey a manger with hay, and a carved infant Jesus. On Christmas Eve, the friars went about inviting the villagers and the farm families to come and see something wonderful. One of the friars, who was a priest, celebrated Midnight Mass, and St. Francis, being a deacon, proclaimed the Christmas gospel and preached the sermon. News about this wonderful experience spread, and in a few years, one could find during the Christmas season recreations of the nativity all through Italy and much of Europe. Around the world, the coming of the infant Jesus is celebrated as a gift to all peoples and cultures. You will find the nativity celebrated with a vast colorful array of culturally appropriate creches. There are living nativity scenes using live animals, both large and small, a living Mary and Joseph, and sometimes even a real infant. In some places, hundreds of people come together to recreate and celebrate the birth of Jesus. In churches and homes, there are creches in all sizes and shapes made with all types of materials. As you begin setting up your creche, consider saying a simple prayer, such as, Bless us, Lord Jesus, as we celebrate your coming into our world and into our lives. Some miniature nativity sets are so small that you can hold the entire crush in your hand. At the other extreme, there are a few large crushes with figures over 15 feet tall. There are the stylized crushes where the Joseph and Mary are dressed in flowing garments. There are wonderful crushes from Americas, Africa, Asia, and Oceania, with each crush being a wonderful cultural expression of the wonder and joy surrounding the birth of Jesus, a celebration for all peoples and all times. For example, you will find in many countries of the Americas, the Las Posadas processions and celebrations beginning on December 16th. These celebrations remind us of Mary and Joseph searching for a room during their journey to Bethlehem. Often the manger in the nativity is empty in homes and churches until the infant Jesus arrives on December 24th, and the Magi do not appear until Epiphany. The creche and other images associated with Christmas offer us an opportunity for Visio Divina. Visio Divina means divine looking, and it is a pathway to prayer using sacred heart to engage in prayerful reflection. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, take some time to look at the creche and engage in some Visio Divina by pondering upon the great mystery which unfolded in Bethlehem about 2,000 years ago. Each creche is an invitation to meditate on Jesus, His birth, His message of good news. God calls each of us by name. God loves us as we are. Each of us is invited by Jesus to come and share the divine banquet of love and mercy. The birth of Jesus reminds us that he came to be with us in every way but sin, even to the point of being born as a small infant with the same needs as any human infant. 
Jesus needs to be fed, kept clean, kept warm, protected and loved by those around him, the crèche invites each of us to stand before the manger and share our love with Jesus. Here is Father John with a special blessing. Let us now ask for God's blessing on this Christmas manger and upon ourselves, that we who reflect on the birth of Christ might share in the salvation that he accomplished. For the Church of God, as we recall the circumstances surrounding the birth of Christ, that we might proclaim his gift of new life for all people. For the world in which we live, that it may come to recognize Christ was greeted by the angels and shepherds. For our families and homes, that Christ who is laid in the manger may dwell with us always. For parents, that their love of their children may be modeled on that of Mary and Joseph. And let us pray. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you've made manifest your love. When our need for a savior was great, you sent your son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Christ and raise up our thoughts to him who is truly Emmanuel, God with us and Savior of all, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. And may Almighty God bless this manger and bless us all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.